What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and predictions on the NHL 2020 Stanley Cup playoffs. I'm really excited. So recently I shared the qualifying rounds, what my thoughts and predictions were for them. And some of them I did get right. Some of them I absolutely botched. I didn't get right whatsoever. But some of them I did mention they were going to be really close, but I didn't get the right prediction. So to see who advanced and who's going into the actual playoffs and going in and facing each other for the first round, it looks like it's going to be pretty awesome playoffs this year, and I'm really excited. So as usual, I have the predictions or the brackets up in front of me, and I'm going to be going through them, sharing my thoughts and predictions going through the playoffs for the first round. So let's just get started here. Up first is, I'm going to start with the Western Conference and then work my way to the East Coast is the Vegas Golden Knights versus Chicago Blackhawks. Now, this one here is going to be a great matchup. I can already tell. Chicago has been on fire during the seedings. So was Vegas, and Chicago advanced to get into the playoffs. They beat out, I believe, the Oilers. So it was a great matchup with them already, seeing what they can do. And Vegas and Chicago earlier this season traded away goalies. So Malcolm Subain went from Vegas to Chicago, and Robin Leonard went from Chicago to Vegas. So it's going to be interesting to see with the goalie switches, who's going to be used, who's going to be shown in the playoffs, and who is going to have the bigger push. I'm really looking forward for this matchup. I think it could go either way, but I'm going to say for this one here... Personally, I'd like to see Chicago do a little bit better this year because for the past few years, they haven't been doing great whatsoever. So I'm going to give it to Chicago. I'm going to say it's going to go down to the seventh game. I think it's going to be 4-3 for Chicago. Next matchup is the Colorado Avalanche, who I've supported in the past, and I think they're going to do great with this playoff. But they're going to be facing the Arizona Coyotes, which have been doing phenomenal this season before the shutdown, and even more so now during the playoffs. They've been doing great for the seedings. So with this matchup here, as much as I want to give it to Colorado, personally I'm going to give it to the Coyotes just because they have some great players, some key players. They have some really great rookies and young guys as well, along with other top players. So I'm really excited to see what they can do. I'm going to give it to the Phoenix Coyotes, and I'm going to say it's going to be 4-2 for Phoenix. That's just what I want to see. I think that could happen with how much the Coyotes were on fire this year, so I hope to see that happen. Next up is... The Dallas Stars versus Calgary Flames. Of course, I'm Canadian, so I have to root for the Canadian teams. However, this matchup here, personally, in my opinion, Calgary was on fire to advance in the first uh, qualifying rounds, so I think they're going to do great with this one here, and I'm really excited to see what they do. Some great, great fights in the first qualifying games against the Winnipeg Jets. They did great matches there, but going against Dallas is, in my opinion, going to be very, very interesting. But I'm going to give it to Calgary. I'm going to say it's going to be 4-1 for Calgary, just to make it a little bit more interesting. I think they have a great lineup, great stars, and I can't wait to, wait to see what they do for this matchup. And the last one for the West Coast is the champions from last year, St. Louis Blues versus Vancouver Canucks. Now, St. Louis in the seedings, because they already made it and established that they're going to be in the playoffs earlier this season with how the rankings were. However, for the seedings, they didn't necessarily do the greatest, and that was really a shame for me. They did so great this season, and to see them not really do that great in the seedings, I don't know if they're going to advance, if they're going to win this year or even make it to the finals. I was originally rooting for them, but in my opinion, Vancouver Canucks were on fire. They had a shutout in their qualifiers. They were doing great games and having a lot of fun, and the games looked phenomenal. I'm going to say the Canucks are going to win in advance, which would be nice to see. But I'm going to say it's going to be 4-3. It's going to be coming down to the seventh game, the final game for this series. Now, for the East Coast, it's going to be really interesting. A lot of these games are, in my opinion, going to be really, really close. Because they're going to be against two top teams, at least in my opinion. And some of them are going to be phenomenal. So up first, we have the Philadelphia Flyers, who over the past few years were growing on me. And this year... I honestly see them making it to the finals with how much great things they were doing on the ice this season, but also in the seedings. They're going to be going against 
the Montreal Canadiens, which I was happy that Montreal beat out Pittsburgh Penguins. I was never a fan of Pittsburgh, especially when they won multiple years, but I'm also not a fan of the Montreal Canadiens. So this matchup here for me is easy to predict. I'm going to predict it's going to be going to the Flyers, and I honestly hope that Flyers, the Flyers eliminates the Canadiens 4-0. I hope they just clean sweep this series. That would be impressive to see, and I think the Flyers are capable of doing it. The Flyers have great players, and I really want to see that happen. Next is going to be Tampa Bay Lightning versus Columbus Blue Jackets. Columbus beat out Toronto Maple Leafs, which was shocking. A lot of people didn't think that was going to happen, but I'm glad it did. So I'm really excited to see with their rookie goalie what they're going to do against Tampa Bay, which is the second-ranked team for the East Coast. I'm really excited to see where they go against them, but if they can beat out Toronto as easily and as quickly as they did, even though it went down to the last game, I think it's going to be a great series, but I'm going to give it to Columbus because I do want to see them succeed. They do have some key players, some players that I like, and their rookie goalie was on fire against Toronto. I'm going to say Columbus Blue Jackets are going to advance. I'm going to say it's going to be 4-3, again, right down to the last game, but hopefully it is going to be an entertaining series. Next up for Washington Capitals versus New York Islanders. If you asked me last year, I was not a fan of the Islanders whatsoever. I didn't really care for them, but this year they were on fire, and I'm actually rooting for them. Of course, I think it was last season they traded, or sorry, not traded away, but they couldn't come to terms with a contract with John Tavares, and he went to Toronto. Recently, I think it went to the media where John stated that he wished he stayed with, stayed with the Islanders because of how great and how much they're doing on the ice with winning and doing everything awesome. Of course, Pajot is a huge plus for the Islanders, and I can't wait to see what is going to happen. Washington Capitals, former champions, won the Stanley Cup two years ago. I honestly think they're going to be good, but not as good as they once were. I think they're going on their descent right now. Islanders, I really hope they advance because I would like to see them make it through a little bit farther into the playoffs this year. And to beat out Florida Panthers was awesome to see. I was actually rooting for the Panthers to see them beat Washington Capitals. If they can do this, I think they're going to go far in the playoffs this year. So my prediction for this one is going to be New York Islanders. I'm hoping for 4-2 for the outcome of this series, but I honestly think it could boil down to the last game as long as the Capitals are not going as strong as they were a few years ago. I think the Islanders will have them beat. And the last matchup is going to be the Boston Bruins versus Carolina Hurricanes. Now, quite frankly, I don't care about either one of these teams. I am really interested in Carolina Hurricanes this year because they did, for trades this year, acquire quite a few top key players, and I think they honestly have a real good push for them. But of course, Boston Bruins getting it into the playoffs. They've always been the most aggressive team in the playoffs with injuries and just playing super aggressively, and that's why they've advanced in the past. But this year against Carolina Hurricanes, honestly, I really hope that Carolina does win and advance in this series. I don't care for Boston, never have, never probably will. But I do know that Boston Bruins will be very aggressive in this series, and I'm not sure if Carolina can handle that kind of aggression. But I am going to say that it's going to be, hopefully, Carolina Hurricanes advancing. That's going to be my final prediction. And I think it might boil down to the last game for this series just because of how Boston will take it and approach with aggression. I'm going to say it's going to be 4-3 for Carolina Hurricanes. So these are my predictions right now for the 2020 first round for the Stanley Cup playoffs. I know some of these, in my opinion, are close calls. Some of these, once again, I feel like could go either way with St. Louis and Vancouver or with Boston and Hurricanes. I don't know. Some of them, I think, could go either way. But I still wanted to give my prediction on what I think and who I want to see advance or at least do a little bit better this year. So comment down below who you think is going to advance into the next round and who you think will win their series in the first round. I'm going to leave this video here. This series for first round of the playoffs this year for 2020. I think it's going to be an amazing pay-per-view and I can't wait to see what happens. I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please take care. Peace.